All right, Shalom. Well, Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis branch of the Great Millstone. And we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we well and teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners and your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. Shalom. All right, just get right into it. Right. It's the book of um, Isaiah, chapter 13, verse, verse 12. And it says, um, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the gold wedge of Ophir. Uh, and this is talking about an elect man of Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Okay. We will call that gold uh, uh, once. Can you uh, grab that in um, Lamentations yep. 4? I was actually thinking of that scripture too. Okay, God. Yep, this is uh, Lamentations chapter 4 and <laughs> verse 2. It says, The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. Mm -hmm. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Mm -hmm. God, and those uh, 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 earthen pitchers, you know, that's, this is talking us, about us being uh, brought low, you know, into a low state. All right? <clears throat> and uh, we are in the day now. Well, the Lord is returning us to our original state of the elect men, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and, <clears throat> and uh, you know, that, 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 that goal, you know, we're going to be, we're going to be very valuable uh, in, in, the, in these days, okay, mm -hmm. more, more precious than fine gold, and you, you're starting to see that because people are starting to turn, you know, you had this, this guy, you know, uh, just saying, you know, I don't know what uh, group he was talking about uh, in particular, you know, he say that, but you know, GMS is, is telling the 100% truth, but there have been several videos on this guy, it's like, hey, you know, those Hebrew Israelites are right, you know, he has his own reservations and fears, but that doesn't uh, dispel the fact that, you know, what he's uh, been seeing and what he heard is coming true right now, and it's the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways, you know, of GMS and those who teach the same doctrine, all right? Yep. Let me let me read one up and then read into it again because uh -huh. because there's something <clears throat> that's actually going on that the Lord is uh, doing currently. Mm -hmm. You know, as he's um, he's bringing down the wicked, and then he's uplifting um, his his men. Yep. You know, is the the elect. We'll say that. Um, so this is um, I, uh, Isaiah 13 verse 11. He says, "And I will punish the world for their evil." And the wicked for their iniquity, and and I will cause the arrogancy and of of the proud to cease, and and will lay low the haughty the haughtiness of the terrible. So again, Esau, Edom, uh, two thirds of the people, all the the wickedness and arrogancy and things that he's going to bring low. And while he's doing that, he's going to be lifting up. Um, the elect. Mm -hmm. Okay. He says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even the man, uh, even a man than the gold uh, wedge, golden, of, wedge. golden wedge of Ophir, which mm -hmm. is very rare. Okay. Yeah. So I just wanted to kind of touch and bring that. There's two things that the Lord, you know, multiple things that the Lord is doing uh, in the land. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got a precept. Okay. This is uh, going to be the book. Of uh, oh, real quick, did you want that in the NLT already? Oh, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, real quick, yeah, that, uh, Isaiah uh, 13 and 12 and the NLT and the um, GNT. Mm -hmm. okay. It's uh, Isaiah 13 and 12 in the NLT. It says, I will make people, you know, which is going off a little bit, scarcer than gold because you know, when it says people, that can mean anybody, right? Yeah, but you know, we understand really, man, it's talking about an elect man of Yahweh Bashim mm -hmm. Yashai. Mm -hmm. Who he calls my people mm -hmm. in the scriptures, according to uh, Ezekiel 34, 30, and 31. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, because <laughs> not, not, hey, in this time, man, the, the whole nation of Israel ain't going to be counted as the golden wedge of Ophir. No, nope. right. You know? Hey, the scripture saying, uh, what's that, uh, Jeremiah 6 and 30 concerning reprobate? It says, uh, reprobate That's silver. Kind of, thwata, uh, 6 and 30? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's Jeremiah <laughs> chapter 6, verses 30. It says, um... Reprobate, reprobate silver shall men call them, 
um, because the Lord have rejected them. Yep, so ultimately, not, not every man in the nation of Israel in these times are right, going to be likened unto uh, that fine gold of the golden wedge of Ophir. Right. All right, the individuals that Yahweh Bashmi Asha rejects, they're going to be labeled as reprobate silver because ultimately the Lord has rejected them. Yep. So going to show you that ultimately that, that uh, man whom the Lord is going to make as the golden wedge of Ophir, uh, pursuant to Isaiah uh, 13 and 12, that's talking about an elect man out of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. And then that was proven in uh, Lamentations 4. Mm -hmm. yep. So finishing off in uh, NLT, it says, uh, more rare than the fine gold of Ophir. And, you know, that, that's it in okay. NLT. Yeah. GNT. Yeah, GNT, you got that too. Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, Isaiah, let me switch over. Let me switch the uh, translation real quick. This is uh, going to be the book of Isaiah, chapter uh, 13, and uh, verse verse 12 in the NLT, I mean, in the GNT, which, you know, th th this, is a, this is a little better. It says, uh, those who survive will be uh, scarcer than gold. Because really, who, who, who's really going to survive all the things that's coming upon the earth, man? Mm -hmm. The elect. Mm -hmm. But really, okay, it ultimately, it's going to be the elect men are who, who are going to be scarce in the gold, more fine than the gold and wedge of Ophir. Mm -hmm. You see? Because at the end of the day, we understand that that the women are whom the Lord has uh, appointed to be saved in these last times. They're going to be saved through a man of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? Mm -hmm. So going to show you that what? At the end of the day, the, the man is the prize. And not, not just any man. The Israelite man. That's right. And on this side, not just any Israelite man, but right. an elect Israelite man yeah. of Yahweh Bashmi Asha. Mm -hmm. That's right. Um, we talked about, um, and we don't have to get into it, but those who survive, that's going into wisdom, Solomon 3, uh, verses 1 through uh, 6. You know, uh, talking about, <clears throat> although we may seem to die in the sight of the unwise, you know, our hope is in the immortality. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's going to raise us up, try us through the, through the fire, and bring, mm -hmm. us, and bring us forward. No. Yeah, uh, I want to get you. Yeah, yeah. Because you just brought another thought. Okay, go ahead, bro. You can come back to it. Yeah. What's that? No, go get no, no, your, go your, go your Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. This is going to be the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, and uh, excuse me, verse seventy-three it says, "Then shall it be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire." You see. So in these last days, man, it's 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 gonna be known all right, in the world who 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 the Lord is with, man. You know? And and that's gonna be manifest through what? The 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 hour of temptation that shall fall upon the whole world. And even when all these things are going on around in the earth, man, these very different plagues, all right, the world, they're gonna look at the men of the Lord like, how are they so calm right now with all these things going on? Mm -hmm. No, the, the the most high has to be with them. Yep. yep. No, that the the Savior has to be with them. Yep. You know? And that's what's going to uh, uh, attract, all right, these people, all right, to the men of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. See, but, hey, we, we understand that not everybody's going to be able to come under uh, the hedge uh, of a men of the Lord, man, mm -hmm. in these last days, man. You know, a lot of people in these last days want to get ready to be rejected, man. And it's, it's going to be a painful feeling, too. Yep. You know, but it's going to be it's going to be known in these last days, all right, who, who was chosen, all right, by Yahweh Bashmi Asai, who that elect is, man. What, read that again? Yep. Uh, Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 73. says, Then shall it be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. All right. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, verse 5. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Mm -hmm. So we're going through the adversities and the things on this side right now and early, you know, by seeking the Lord. And like he says, uh, preparing our soul for the temptations and the different things, the trials that are coming upon us. Like it tells us in Corinthians how there's no um, um, temptation uncommon uh, to men. Mm -hmm. We're going through these things so that later we're not judged with the world. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're hopeful that we are those men. And so, again, we're we're being purified through all those things. So then and going into the scriptures. Again, also being cleansed. It said, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By mm -hmm. taking heed according to the word. Mm -hmm. So we're taking heed to the word, to the instructions, to the uh, to our leaders, the head apostles of GMS, and um, the bishops and the elders and those that teach the likewise doctrines. We're getting ourselves right. And as uh, the day of the Lord's judgment becomes um, 
uh, starts to drop, come down like like uh, like streams of water, mm -hmm. right? And that that we may stand in in the time in that, in those times in those days. And if so, uh, and when that time come, you know, we want to be those men that are accepted by Yahweh by Shimei mm -hmm. um, When when adversity comes and the true <clears throat> temptation uh, starts to uh, come come to play. God. Yeah, this goes right into that. Wisdom Solomon uh, 3. Did you have more? Yes, more? Nah, nah. But I, I was about to get that scripture. Wisdom Solomon 3. Okay, yeah, you, well, okay. You, no, you got it. You got it. I'll read it. You know, you yeah. chime in, break it down, whatever God. you want to do. All right. This is uh, the book of Wisdom of Solomon 3, uh, beginning in verse 1. <clears throat> but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and there shall no torment touch them. You know, the scripture say in us to rock or Ecclesiastes 33 and 1. That uh, there shall no evil happen unto him that feareth the Lord, Yahweh, Bashmi, Ashai, but even in temptation, he shall deliver him. You see? So ultimately, we ain't, we ain't finna be, you know, going through the stuff that the people of the world is going through. Hey, you know, some of us might have to be martyrs, man. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, the Lord, he could take away that pain, man. Yep. You know, the scripture say in 1 Corinthians uh, 11 says, uh, uh, we are chastened of the Lord that uh, we shall not be chastened with the world, roughly paraphrasing. Yep. So we going through what we going through right now, you know, in, 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 in increments, man. You know, but hey, hey, when, when, when the world start going through shit, man, it's going to fall upon them. Yep. And, and the Lord, what he's doing with that is he's getting us ready for the times that we're coming into, man. Okay. Verse two. And the sight of the unwise, they seem to die and their departure is taken for misery. Yeah, which really, man, shit, <clears throat> shit to, to, to depart from this earth and, and, and this current world, the way the earth is going right now. It, it wouldn't be misery to depart, man. And even Apostle Paul said to, to be absent from the body to be present with the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I, I I can speak for every brother and sister that's in his faith right now. Mm -hmm. We would rather be absent from the body and present with the Lord. Well, now, seeing how everything is going on in the earth, man. Mm -hmm. our, our condition. Mm -hmm. Hell, man, we'd rather be up there in the heavens. God. And, and, and you know, uh, not to veer off, but that's, you know, how about Shema Shai said Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're going to be back with him. All right. <clears throat> uh, verse 3. And it says, And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. Yeah, hey, 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 ain't nothing, ain't nothing but peace in the heavens, man. And mm -hmm. hey, we know we know the, the, the heavens, man, the spiritual world, man, all right, is completely in order. You know? Mm -hmm. And hey, scriptures say e, 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 even uh, 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 the wicked are at rest. Mm -hmm. Roughly paraphrasing, when you read a uh, Job the third chapter, mm -hmm. you see, so hey man, hey, hey if if we was in a spiritual world right now, shit, we we'd be cooler, mm -hmm. shit, we'd be chilling. God, uh, you you had mentioned earlier, you know that uh, some of us are gonna be martyrs, but then there are gonna be some of us who don't taste death. Mm -hmm. There's also peace with that. Isaiah twenty six three mm -hmm. says, "I will keep him in perfect peace as long as his mind is stayed on thee." You know, and how is our mind stayed on him? Or stayed on us? You know that Isaiah thirty three and six. Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability mm -hmm. of thy times. Fear of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh is his treasure. And that stability, when you stable, that means there's balance. You know, peace. You know, nothing is up offsetting or upsetting uh, the other. All right? Uh, verse 4, <clears throat> Wisdom of Solomon 3. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet their hope is full of immortality. Mm -hmm. And those may, we understand that at the end, you know, of all of uh, all our chastisements, things we go through, because hey, in, in, in the sight of men, it just it just seems like we just being punished for no reason. But we understand that there is a, a greater glory which follows our sufferings, man. This uh -huh. is why the scripture said our hope is full of immortality, because Yahweh Shah said what? He that endured to the end. The same shall be saved, man. Mm -hmm. So if we endure into the end, guess what, man? Hey, we're going to be saved, man. Mm -hmm. And we'll achieve immortality, man. God. Through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. God, what is that? Uh, is it uh, Sirach 4 and 28? You're striving to, 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 to choose for death. death and the Lord shall fight for thee. Okay. Verse uh, um, uh, 5, this gets to what you're saying. And then verse 6 gets to what you were saying, uh, Barak. Verse 5, and having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai proved them and found them worthy for himself. Yeah, and that made me think of, uh, I think it's a scripture in uh, Romans 8, where it says, The sufferings of this life cannot be compared with the glory which shall be revealed within us. Mm -hmm. See, because, hey, the scriptures, you know, also 
uh, uh, refer to this as a uh, light affliction. Mm -hmm. And compared to the glory we're about to receive, the Lord will be that elect number, man. Hey, it, it'll be, hey, hey this, this affliction going to look like nothing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, for the Most High proved them and found them worthy for himself, man. And that's dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. See, because the elect, you know, the nation of Israel, no matter what, you know, the, the Lord has uh, put it within their spirit that no matter how low they may feel, no matter how hard things may seem, all right, they're going to continue pushing, man. Mm -hmm. Now, verse 6, back to you, <clears throat> what you brought out. This is, it says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 6, as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Mm -hmm. so, that choice gold, man, mm -hmm. which is dealing with who? The elect, mm -hmm. you know? And once again, going back to the title of this lesson, the Lord said he's going to make a man more fine than the golden wedge of Ophir, man. Mm -hmm. You know? So a, a, a man of the Lord is going to be very valuable in that day. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. And um, <clears throat> I just want to add, because we're, we're seeing it in the news right now, um, with this whole uh, uh, election thing, you know... <laughs> Eve is really coming down hard on, on Jake because they don't want to, uh, 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 the ones who's not in the truth, they don't want to uh, 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 vote for this Edomite woman. She's a chocolate covered Edomite, you know, for, for the most part. And she had slaves in her family. They want to ignore that. But you know that that woman is carnal, man, you know. But they don't realize here they made a grave mistake, you know, a grave mistake in, in coming down on, on, Jake, on Jake, especially the elect man of Jake. You know, because, uh, <laughs> and, and what it say in that day? This is uh, Isaiah uh, 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. You know, what does that sound like? We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Uh, she ain't talking about no 50 50 in that day. <laughs> That ain't gonna be a problem, you know. She gon' she gon' take care of it as long as she, uh, 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 as long as she can be called by your name. And what does that mean, you know? She's married to you. And what is our form of, of marriage? Our sex. You know, we, we know when <clears throat> Adam and Eve, uh, well, Adam uh, and Eve, yeah, when Adam and Eve went off in, in the garden, when the Lord called them, He said, "Adam, where art thou?" Both of them came. She was right there. She was right there when, when he called. So, you know, she was under his name. At, at his name and that's all this is saying. You know, that was his wife. All right? To take away our reproach. And y'all got a hell of a reproach. You know, scoffing, mocking the men of the Lord. Even the ones that's out there teaching and not supposed to be teaching. You know, you're going to straighten up in that day. All right? And, you know, even to, to take away a woman's reproach because... You know, back in the ancient days, uh, you know, women, you know, were looked down upon, you know, for not being with a husband at a certain age yep. or not having children, mm -hmm. you know. So, hey, and that goes to show you how far we've uh, uh, fallen from, you know, the, the ancient customs. Because now, all right, what's being pushed is amongst these women is, you know, you don't need no man, you know, freezing the eggs, you know, not wanting to get married and have children. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about yourself, all about being independent, a boss babe, this, then the third, you know. Mm -hmm. But, hey, man, as the apostles always say, man, overnight, that uh, that mentality, man, is going to fly straight out the window. Yeah. You know, like like, like once all hell truly breaks loose, then, then, <laughs> then out of nowhere, they're going to, you know, remember, oh, I'm a woman. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and, you know, and, and, and here again, going back to that scripture. We will buy our own bread. I, I got my own money. I don't need your money. Blah, 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 blah. Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Okay? That righteousness is only coming from that man. You know? The elect man. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 tells you that. When Solomon did the survey, he found one upright man out of a thousand, uh, not one woman. Not one woman did he find in that survey of, of a thousand. Okay, well, like you said, that's gonna change. Um, I got a quick, I got a quick precept to show you the, uh, you know, the order. This is First uh, Corinthians. 
but I would have you to know that the head of every man is the Mashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh. Okay, that's the order, you know. But we know according to uh, uh, curses, you uh, and, and, and Isaiah three and twelve it says that women shall rule over them, the children shall be their oppressors. Uh, was it Jeremiah uh, thirty two and uh, uh, 31 and 18 or 31? Somewhere around there says a woman shall, shall compass a man. 31, 22. 31, 22. Yeah. So we know that that's happening right now. But that's about to change. Because like, you know, you, you brought out when you went back into Isaiah uh, chapter 13, verse 11. As he's bringing down <clears throat> the proud and the hearty and the wicked, he's raising up his elect. Okay. Exactly what he's doing. All right. I had something. And, um, and just bear with me. This is um, uh, the book of uh, Psalms, chapter 1. Blessed bless is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the, of the ungodly, nor standeth in the seat, in, uh, standeth in the mm -hmm. way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So the men of the Lord will be walking in the counsel of Yahweh of Hashem Yahweh Shai, and not in the ways of the world. Right now, uh, two thirds and the majority of the two thirds are women. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be walking in the council, in the school, uh, in the seat of the scornful and of the, of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so what's what's happening is that there, for a time, the, the Yahweh of Hashem Shai had allowed for Esau Edom and his philosophies, his doctrines, things that he put forth. He allowed for it to be. Um, an illusion or you know to or to the to the masses to where they think and everything he say is right mm -hmm. but now because he's adverse to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai everything is crumbling yep. and so everyone that's <clears throat> attached to him you know uh, their ways are going to crumble also <laughs> okay that's the right now uh, I think that's verse 15 Go join hand in hand. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. He said the wicked yep. shall not go unpunished, and that's what I was thinking. Right. Yeah. So, so what thrust do with the sword? That's another one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a couple of join hand in hands, but in Isaiah thirteen. So, yeah. so, so then he says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, God. and in and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. Okay. It says, and he shall be as like a tree planted by the rivers of water mm -hmm. that bringeth forth his fruit. In his season, right? Because we're studying the scriptures, we're going through the afflictions, we're we're seeing what's going on in the world, and we're doing our lessons. Mm -hmm. We're doing the things that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has told us to do, mm -hmm. all right? That He commanded. Actually, it is our reasonable service, mm -hmm. all right? That we're doing, and we're doing it in the love God. of of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, right? And then uh, praying, and we're fasting, right? Um, and we're crying out, okay? So then he says, um, he says, his leaf uh, also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Mm -hmm. So now that's what we're talking about, the men of the Lord prospering, the things in which you put your hand to do, the Lord is going to increase it, mm -hmm. okay? Up until the point of uh, <laughs> salvation, all right? So those who are coming against scoffing and, and all of those, if it be women, you know, uh, um, of our nation, uh, men of the nation, you're going to see in the end, it's going to be that big, I told you so. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's where that now you have to put down your pride and come to that man or a man of the Lord seeking yeah. him and saying, hey, let me, um, what well, he says, seven women shall take hold to one man. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and that's 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 a for clarity. Mm -hmm. That's that's a complete number. That's a complete number. Yeah, yeah. it's mm -hmm. not it's not um, you know an no. exact number for every man. That's of a complete number for a particular man. Right. You know, so it may be two for one, fifteen for another. Mm -hmm. All right. So I wanted to uh, yeah. <clears throat> so I wanted to bring that because in verse four it says the ungodly are not so for like the chaff which. The wind shall drive away. So again, those who cleave on to this to this man, they're gonna be like unto him, mm -hmm. right? He that touches pitch, mm -hmm. right? Um, this scripture here it says the uh, book of Isaiah chapter thirty two verse two it mm. says, and a man shall be a hiding place um, from the wind and a covert 
from the tempest. God it says, as rivers of water. Well, we just right, read that, right? It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, mm -hmm. rivers of water uh, in a dry place mm -hmm. uh, as the shadow of a uh, great rock in a weary land. So just think, um, you know, uh, in a place now where everyone is destitute of the true spirit, which is mm -hmm. the water, which is the scriptures, right? When you take the men off the streets mm -hmm. and then they're now looking for they, they have that void of not knowing what to do. And now they're looking for a man of mm -hmm. the Lord to help guide them in the right way. Mm -hmm. And they can't find him. Mm -hmm. Right? So now when you had the presence of the Lord before you, you mocked, you scoffed, you didn't even consider. Right? So that's that's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living living power. God. Right? God. When you when you knock down his hand. From him, if you want to break down any, you know, oh no, nah, thought in that situation. You, well, no, nah, I was the whole time you talking about that tree planted by waters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you really think about that, you know, that's real deep because you know how far those roots are going to extend into the ground. It'll make it grounded, yeah. Yeah, make it grounded and const nourished constantly. That's why it says, you know, the leaf will not uh, wither. Mm -hmm. You know. And, and then, you know, as far as those roots uh, going to the ground, you've seen it. When they cut down a tree, mm -hmm. those roots are deep. It's hard as hell moving that stump, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's immovable. It's immovable. It's steadfast. Mm -hmm. It's firm in where it's supposed to be. So that, 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 that's a great uh, analogy, you know, um, you know uh, talking about you know, a tree planted by water. It's constantly nourished. You know, it will not wither. Um, which pretty much that's that's also you know on the cusp of thing speaking of immortality mm -hmm. you know which is what we're supposed to be all right <clears throat> yeah. did, did you read verse three from that uh, i can yeah all that right goes to what you were saying yeah verse three uh -huh. it says and the eyes of them that see uh shall not be dim and the ears of them that hear shall hearken God, so when you see all hell breaking loose as it was talking about in, in the previous verse, you'd be like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> you know, they was right. Mm -hmm. You know, you know that that whole uh, thing. You know, all everything starts to break. But then, for some of y'all, it's gonna be too late. You know, that's why I said, you know, uh, uh, you have this, you know, uh, seven women to one man. All y'all ain't gonna make it. You know, like you said, part of that uh, uh, judgment um, is gonna be a lot of women. You know, because there's more women uh, uh, on earth than it is men. That's why in Ezekiel um, chapter 9, verse 4 through 6, they are mentioned three times. You know, children, which you have females, women, maids, which are, are women, and then uh, wives. You know, because some of y'all, you know, giving uh, that man a, a hard time. You know, well, like it says in uh, Micah uh, seven. 7 and 10. Yeah. She even said, where is, your, where is your God? So she knows he's a believer, but still giving him crap, mm -hmm. you know? I forgot one real quick. Uh -huh. uh, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 19. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict, afflict thee, mm -hmm. and I will save her that halted, and gathered her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in mm -hmm. every land where they were put, they, they, where they have been put it's a shame. So um, we have been put low as, as men. If you look at it, you know, um, a nation should have have leaders, mm -hmm. right, within their nation, which we do. We have them now, okay? The, the Lord has given us teachers according to his heart, right, that should lead and guide us. Again, we can't sound like a broken, we sound like a broken record, but again, we believe to be our head apostles of Great Millstone. Right. And the elders and those that teach that likewise doctrine. But of course, spearheading by our head apostles mm -hmm. um, and, um, <clears throat> you know, and they and through their due diligence, more other brothers have come into this labor uh, of love and this work. Mm -hmm. All right. For you, how about she was shy and you we, and because we were journeyed out, it said that in um, the Baruch where it talks about in the land of our captivity. We will come back into the ways calling on the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. right? And and now it's leading, now that these things are happening and the prophecies are coming to pass, now there's going to be known who 
are the Lord's chosen, mm -hmm. right? And that's where that praise and the fame is going to be come because mm -hmm. then they shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Ah, okay. God. Um, but, yeah, uh, uh, can you read that again? I yes, want to sir. back you up on something. Okay, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse uh, 19. It says, Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflicted thee. All right, so we know Esau, Edom, other nations had, you know, their hand slowly upon us mm -hmm. and afflicted us. We've shown in, in many of the violence against thy brother Jacob, <laughs> you know, how we've been afflicted, um, the, the curses. All right, but it says, and I will save her that halted and gather her that um, was driven out. It's talking about the elect. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, get them praise and fame in every land where they were, where they uh, have been put to shame. Mm -hmm. Okay. This, this, well, the whole time you was reading that, I was thinking of Baruch chapter 4. I'm going to start at verse 29. <clears throat> and it reads, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. Okay? Uh -huh. Talking about Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Then he says, Take a good heart, meaning the mind, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Verse 31. Mm -hmm. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Mm -hmm. Verse 32. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Can somebody get the definition of miserable? I'm reading this, please. Baba Kusha. He says, uh, verse 33, For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. Talking about this great whore, Babylon the Great. All right? Verse uh, 34, For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Man. That, that's cool. Well, it goes back to the starting scriptures in um, Isaiah uh, 31. I mean, Isaiah 30, I, I'm sorry. So like, yeah, Isaiah 13 and 11 when he said he's going to bring down Khan, the whole Khan, thing, right? Khan, Khan. Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. All right. Um, verse uh, 35. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. It's the one into that destruction of this place, but while that's happening, <laughs> you know, we're going to be raised up, mm -hmm. you know. Says uh, miserable, um, being in pitiable, pitiable state or of distress or unhappiness. Mm -hmm. um, says cause, causing extreme discomfort or unhappiness. Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah. you, you got to consider, you know, uh, that Esau, you know, they don't know these things yet. Even the poorest of them don't don't know it. You know, we talked about in, in the last video, you know, that's that proud uh, arrogance that, that, that they have. You know, the elite set it up that way. Um, going all the way back, you know, and <laughs> this is the 1960s, around the civil rights movement, right around the time the truth really started to kick in the gear. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, Linda B. Johnson uh, said, if you make the lowest white man think he's better than the best black man, you know, he will empty his pockets for you. Because you give him someone to look down upon. And, you know, even the worst of them, you know, they they, they rejoice at our at our fall. You know, you can look at some of the comments on on uh, on, on some of those uh, 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 videos where Jake was un, unjustly, uh, un, un, and I say unjustly unalive, you know, we don't know what he did in his past life. But, you know, we know and what would happen in the moment. You know, he was in compliance with, with the police officers, so on and so forth, and, and they still took him out. But those people are saying, you know, hey, do the crime. <laughs> you know, you, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, and then Jake really hasn't done anything. They just love to see us dead. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. You know? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, I have something. Um, it, this is the book of, um, actually, I'm going to go, this is the book of uh, Second Edris. Chapter eight, verse one. Okay, verse one. He says, and he, and he answered me, saying, the most uh, the most high have made this world for for many, but the world to come for few. Mm -hmm. Again, this is dealing with the elect. This is why it's very important, you know, um, or why, you know, it, it, we're in a mindset. The Lord has put us in a mindset 
to do this work. You know, we want to be those kings and priests. We want the fame. We want to be um, at the table, you know, rubbing elbows, so to speak, with Yahweh Shai. You That's know, right. To drinking that wine. Sup to be him. to sup with Yahweh Shai. To have to have uh, for him to look at us and say, "My good and faithful servant." Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he says, verse two. He says, "I will tell thee a, a similitude, Edris." As when thou um, ask the earth, it shall say unto thee that it giveth much mold thereof, earthen vessel, whereof earthen vessels are made. So, of course, we know that uh, we are of the earth as people, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and it's many people. Right. Um, and he says uh, are made. He says, but little dust that gold cometh of. So there's only very. You know, you may see out of all the dust and dirt, you may see small sprinkles of gold. Mm -hmm. Okay, Time. little little bits of gold. He says, even so is the course of this present world. He says, there be there be many created, but few shall be saved. Mm. And so that's uh, those who, um, yeah, you know, like um, another example. You know, Yahweh Shai talked about the wheat and the tares. Mm -hmm. You know, the tares are. You know, they look ex similar to, you know, the wheat, you know, and he said, what? Let them grow together because in the end, you know, the angels shall separate them. At harvest okay? time. Yep. So, of course, though, we may look like regular men out in the world, you know, Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, is going to justify like these are the ones that he has chosen among all these people, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there's another one. This is Second Ezra chapter uh, 9. Uh, verses uh, 13 he says he says and therefore be thou uh, not curious how the ungodly shall be punished so this is what because Ezra was asking uh, many questions and he was get, receiving many a answers as well he says um, punished and when he says but inquire how the righteous shall be saved now we know that his secrets are with the righteous and we know that the righteous goes into being the prophets of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. um, uh, and and um, because I'm thinking of Amos six and seven. I mean, not six. Seven. Amos three, uh, six and seven, and then also when it goes into the righteous, um, um, in uh, uh, Proverbs when he says, "For the forward is an abomination unto the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous." God, God. Right. Um, then he says, um, "He says who the world." It says, whose the world is and for whom the world is created. So mm -hmm. the world, the, the righteous, you know, the world to come was made for the righteous. Mm -hmm. It was created for the righteous. Um, jump down to 15. He says, um, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of them which perish. Mm. Then, then of them which shall be saved. Mm -hmm. So just to go further into, you know, there is a neglect in which, again, when, when the scriptures talk about, you know, my servants shall eat, but you will be thirsty. I mean, uh, hungry. My servants mm -hmm. shall uh, drink, but you shall be thirsty. There are going to be some that will not taste of death, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but then those who uh, are to be martyrs for the Lord, they're going to be placed upon the chariot, you know. Um, but then ever shall we be with the Lord, as Paul had mentioned, you know. So our fight is to stay in this truth and to be one of those that will be saved in the end time, mm -hmm. you know. Because hey, uh, uh, even uh, mm -hmm. okay. saying, uh, even even when you read further uh, down yeah. in that chapter, you know the you know the Lord was saying that uh, He has kept them a grape of the cluster, mm -hmm. and with mm -hmm. the Lord, the Lord has kept Himself a remnant, man. Uh, and you know that that's been throughout. You know, hey, they, hey, what was the remnant during the time of the flood? Mm -hmm. Noah, his wife, his sons, and their wives, man. Yep. You know, and we understand that that the Lord in these days has uh, reserved to him a remnant. That scripture say in uh, uh, Romans eleven, I reserved unto me seven thousand men which have not bowed the knee to bow all. Mm -hmm. So you got you know elect men, all right, of the Lord, or Yahweh Bashim Yashai, who are not going to bow down to this beast system in these mm -hmm. days. And also, they're going to stay faithful until you howl about Shemir Ashad to the very, very end. And that's how it's going to be known who the chosen are, man. Gosh. Oh, God. Um, 
Can you read that again? Second Ezra 9 and 15. 9 and 15. It says, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter that there be many more of, of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Yeah, and see, there's a colon that follows after that word saved. So the next scripture puts all that in the context of what you really, what right. it's really going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, you want to go ahead? Yeah, it says, like, like as a wave is greater than a drop. So, yeah, so a wave. You see people surfing on those huge waves. Mm -hmm. You know, that type of wave compared to a drop of water. That's what that remnant is. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what that remnant is. So that, you know, just gives you in, in context really how many a, a Jake is going to be taken out, the two-thirds. Actually, like, uh, it, and he said, uh, and, um, Isaiah, oh, I think it's one and nine, he says, the Lord of hosts would have left us a very small remnant. Mm -hmm. We would have been like Sodom. We would have been like unto Gomorrah. We mm -hmm. know what happened to ancient Sodom and Gomorrah. Totally but, he wiped left, out. but he left a cluster. He yep. left a very small remnant, mm -hmm. right? Did you want me to read more? Or we could oh, no, that's cool. just make the point. Yeah, that's cool, just yeah. making the point. Yeah. I got something else. Go ahead. Um, okay, this is the book of. Um, can you look up the word precious? Because we know we talked about um, um, fine gold, right? The mm -hmm. fine gold of you. Um, you get in the blue letter? I got it in uh, Merriam Webster. Okay, I get in the blue letter and the etymology. Yeah, let's look up precious <clears> real quick. <throat> and then um, I guess if there's nothing else, I'll read the pictures. We'll end off of this. Yep. Here. It says uh definition definition one, it says uh, of great value or high or high price, uh highly esteemed or cherished, mm. excessively he refined. Said he said cherished is like you'll be like the apple of God, his eye. Calm. He that mm -hmm. touches you touches the apple of his eye, something that's highly cherished. Mm -hmm. uh, read that again, Mama It says uh highly esteemed or mm -hmm. cherished, excessively refined. Uh, see the gold refined, like um, going through the fire, right? Um, it was there more. It says, uh, "Yeah, that's pretty much it." Yep, Con, what you got, brother? Okay, this is uh, precious, uh, uh, an adjective, valuable, of great worth or price, costly, uh, precious, costly, honorable, of great worth, uh, from the Latin costly, valuable, value, worth, price. Uh, the meaning over refined, fast, fastidious. Uh, it also had a secondary ironic sense of uh, worthless, precious metals, gold and silver, mm -hmm. which is what it's talked about, and those that are rare and costly enough to be used as a standard of value and abundant enough to be used for coinage. But here is the, this the etymon, precious and a noun, beloved or dear person. Or object, mm -hmm. since the uh, it talks about the Lord of the Rings movies, but beloved or dear person or object, and we know uh, uh, that's what David's name means, mm -hmm. beloved, da -wa -da. Okay. and it's about uh, the house of David, which mm -hmm. is the elect. All right, so this is what I want to bring, and we we can end it here. Uh, this is the book, and speaking of, this is the uh, Psalm of David. God. Man, bro, why? <laughs> like, cause this is one of his, yeah, and this, like, this one, man. I'm just gonna read it, um, and I hope again this is edifying and uplifting. But um, I had to get this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter seventy-two, verse eleven. He says, "Yea, all kings shall fall down before him; all nations shall serve him." That's Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. Okay, for he shall deliver the needy. When he when he crieth, that's the, that's the elect will be crying out loud, spare not the poor also, and him that hath no help, helper. And again, that's the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay, the only one that we can uh, that's going to redeem us is Yahweh Shai. All right, he says he shall spare the poor and the needy. He shall save the soul of the needy. Mm. He shall redeem their soul from deceit and violence. And precious shall their their blood be in his sight. Mm. So is that precious? Mm -hmm. These, the, the, the children, the elect, um, you know, he says, we're, they're going to be precious in the sight of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. Um, and so there's no other 
there's no other um no other thing to compare you know to to have yeah, how will Bashim Al Shai look at you in his sight is something that's very prized. Mm -hmm. There's nothing uh, above that, you know. Mm -hmm. And we want to be those men, and hopefully, those who are listening, uh, come across this video, will want to be those men, women, as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm yeah, I just gonna say. So you know, everybody's talking about the high value man. The high value man is truly the elect man. Of uh, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yep. All right. So, with that, we hope this lesson find was edifying to the elect body of the nation of Israel. Once again, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. Double honor to our apostles and those of the great millstone who do well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also say you taste to the hopeful elect of the scattered 12 tribes of Israel, scattered to the four corners of the earth, that be like to the speckled bird, also known as your Israelite foreigners, and your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. To you, we say Shalom. 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 Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. We got next. Shalom. Shalom.